Don't attack me. I am your friend. I am your friend. Welcome everyone for another round of Ark Survival here at the island. I have traveled all the way to the northern part of the map. All the way north because I want to go find some Ovis. I, that's right, I'm going to make a mutton farm and for that I need the sheep, aka Ovis. And looking at the locations they're supposed to be on the map, the easiest way to do this would have been just to, you know, bring my uh my raft up here and collect some now and i'm basically right next to the secret lake hidden lake which one is called but that that little spot over there yeah this time i decided to just go ahead and come get the creatures first and i'll build the pen when i get back this way i'll get them taken care of and i'm just gonna pick them up when i find them hopefully i'm gonna find a male and female and i'm gonna drop them off in my raft, my taming area of the raft, and I do have several sweet veggie cakes in a nice box on the raft, so I am prepared in terms of taming foods, and it's supposed to, according to the wiki, only require one sweet veggie cake to tame, regardless of level. It's just passive, feed it to them, and they are your buddy for life. Anki, right over there. See us some more Argies. Uh, Anki, and wait, wait. This is it kind of popping in and out? Uh, there, yeah, is that okay? Ah, no, no, no. Don't attack me. I am your friend. I am your friend. All right, that's it. Uh, where, where, where'd you go? Ah, there was a sheep there. Where'd he go? Uh, got him! I got the sheep! I'm, I'm getting out of here. Do not wear out my stamina doing this, please. He's still following me. I'm hoping he's gonna lose interest because he gets far enough away from his home. Like, uh, yep, there he goes. Good. I was about to say, he should turn back. They usually, you know, once you get far enough, they go back. And yeah, that's the speed boost. Picking them up and the fighting. Yeah, that how drained my stamina a bit. Oh, wait, what is that down there? There's a T-Rex down there. It looks like there's another T-Rex. They're they're fighting Argies too. So sweet vegetable cake and last slot. Boom! OV Uh Uno. Y'all just OV Uno. So checking the wiki map on the spawning area for this, it actually is supposed to be more of around this mountain. And apparently, I guess that was just a bit of a fluke because it shouldn't have been around that area. But, you know, where I'm at, when I found it, it's kind of like right at the edge of this little stretch. So maybe I'll find another Ovis through here. As long as I don't get attacked by another Argy. Oh, yeah, that is right at the edge of the spawn area. Maybe I'll find another one right through here. I don't want to get too far in the cold. I've got an otter. You know, that's, that's going to warm my neck a little bit. The Utahrodosaurus thing, yeah. UDs. The UT, that's what it is. Right there, yeah. I saw that, uh, like, you know, spree. Yeah, there's that little roar attack. I got some T-Rexes with them. So I can come back here later for one of them. Right, oh, there's another one. <laughs> They're all over the place up here. Why is it I've only found one Ovis, but I this is like the fifth UT that I've, I've come across. And I'm not even looking for... Oh, wait, make that sixth. No, no, there it is. Yeah, just fifth. But that's at least the fifth I've come across. And I've only seen the one Ovis so far. Number seven. And where is he? Somewhere right down below me. But there's eight. That's eight UTs already. And one. Likely fluke location for an Ovis. I had to come in close to see this. It's just like a little speck of off-white. And there's there's one. I'm hoping that is a good one. So, yeah, hopefully this is a female. This one's so happy. Look at the tail wagging. It's like, yay, you saved me from the evil predators. In hindsight, I probably should have parked somewhere right over there. I, I probably actually would have been better than parking on the other side of the lake. Oh, Ovidos, that's why it is. Yeah, Ovidos. <laughs> uh, 
Female! Yay. Okay. That means I am done because male and female. I was kind of thinking female because there's no, you know, big horns like that. Look, yeah, look at those horns. And the, look at those eyes. Such pretty eyes. And you know what? I'm going to go the other way this time because I came along the south of the map and then up north on the eastern shore. And I got chased by a Sarko along part of the swamp. Did not enjoy that part where he's like kind of like chasing after me. Like, I guess he saw me through my door. I, I will go the other way because, you know, I, I thought the cold would be a little bit more of a negative effect, but my otter is doing a pretty good job keeping me warm. So I will go around west along the northmost part of the map and then circle back south to my base now. And right after I said I got chased by a Sarko, there's a Sarko. So this may not be any better on this direction. It is not any better. He, he's chasing me. That's right. Give up. Go away. Oh, I didn't know I was going to have to dodge around so many small little icebergs. Finally made it back. It just took pretty much all night. And that was not a fun trip. Definitely going to just go back the other way if I do that again. So for now, I'm going to boost their health. Now, if I boost their food, it will increase the rate at which their wool regenerates and i'm not too worried about that mostly i want to get their health up because the higher their health the more mutton and hide you get from them when you harvest them and that's pretty much my goal is to use these for mutton Just make sure you are mating so i'm gonna have these two as the original mating pair in fact i'm going to change your name ovis king ovis queen so i'm gonna have I think in the end, two or three that will set to the side in the pen to be my wool ones and just focus on their food level so they regenerate their wool very quickly. And the others are all going to be health. So basically, eventually, these will level up to a very high level, be producing babies that are high level, and I'll harvest the babies to get more and more mutton every time. So this area does not provide me the best look because of the incline. However, I am going to try and make use of it. So I'm going to just build using the foundations like this and just take this out and just do like that. And yeah, I'll just... Actually, I may go at this height instead, not go all the way back. Uh, I just need basically a small structure. And I was going for the thatch floor because of the look. Uh, you know, it looks like you threw down some straw uh, kind of thing for them. So uh, to me, it felt like it'd be a better fit. All right. I think I have an idea for a way I can make this work better. I'm going to create a wood flooring surrounding type of thing like this is part of the pen like i i maybe have the door here i walk up and walk inside and it's like a little pen and then i'm going to enclose to this little area right here where it's like it's a pasture kind of thing i want to have like a little pasture type of thing and it might be useful because i could basically pasture there with some grass up into this area again it would be really nice if you just, you know, could terraform a little bit, just flatten things out a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, nice part on the outside, the visual there. So it looks a little nicer. Too bad it's not going to match with the foundation, but, uh, you know, you want the dirty part to be inside anyway, because that's where they are. They're going to be getting poop and everything on the wall. Uh, let's just see how this... Yes, there we go. So it gives kind of a bleed-over look for the thatch, like spilling out into the ground. Yes, that's, that's better. I'll just do it like that. So I can... Should... There we go. Yes, all the way... Well... <laughs> okay. Yeah, target the right... Like match up. Match. There we go. Well, it's still off a bit, but okay. So they could go up to the wall there 
And then right here, I'm going to have, let's see, we'll do the, oh no, double door. Do like that, which is not at all lined up. There we go. Sometimes you gotta be facing the just right way for it to work. All right, there we go. We'll do a stone door frame, double door frame there. So it feels like reinforced, you know, and then it's open. And I'm gonna just basically build out a little enclosure like through this area. So these are gonna have to move. Oh, baby OV. Wait, wait, what? Okay, I'm okay, too heavy for you, huh? Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay, you know, I'm not even gonna name it yet. Female and female identical twins. How about that? Right away. And, you know, they're gonna have to make some more babies. Technically, with their father. This is so, it's, uh, yeah, a little weird, but it's, it's gonna happen. Now I'm just gonna work my way around here using the fence foundations. And hopefully this will keep them from wandering outside the pen. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually gonna take both of these out. And I'm just gonna, yeah, put the feeding trough in here so it's kind of right in the middle. And, you know, because of the coverage area for this, I am going to just keep it with raw meat because there's, you know, raptors and everything nearby. It's this is gonna help cover for them, even though the sheep are not gonna eat the raw meat. But there, that should hopefully keep them enclosed. So it's time to finish decorating the actual building. And just to give it kind of a sturdier look, I'm going to do pillars, even though that's going to kind of cover up the pillar look of the double doorway. So these, I will have to get taller pillars. Hopefully that will uh, work with the medium ones, that it will be the right length to go all the way down. Boom. Perfect. Right to the ground, medium pillar. Perfect. Gives a little bit sturdier look to it. What I think I will do is go with the wooden slopes on the outside edges so it's got that appropriate look to it. And for the inside, uh, for the roof piece itself, I'm going to go with thatch. So that it does like that. It gives that barn kind of feel and look to it. So we'll have the sloped thatch roof like that. And I'll throw a couple of torches. Again, be great if you could terraform at least a little bit. I mean, I could dig if I had a shovel, you know, get a digging dinosaur creature and have it dig out areas and flatten things out and re-terrain it a bit, you know, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna put some seeds here. I'm gonna bake some more grass. I wish you could do that, make it look a little nicer. Maybe there's a mod for that. If there's a mod you know about that lets you terraform to flatten stuff out, put grass someplace, make things look nicer. Post it in a comment below because I would love to check that out. Sheep bomb! Another sheep bomb! No little sheep bombs. Can't pick them up yet. I'm going to put king and queen in here. That's two of them. They take sweet veggie cake to tame, but unlike the Akatina, they're not only eating that. They'll eat berries, so that's good. They're, you know, I mean, their food level is up there. So sweet veggie cake, one each, no matter what level. Now I can produce babies. I've already produced two babies. They'll help produce more babies. Again, I'll probably have two or three that are restricted to wool production, which is going to be based on food value. So I'll max them out on food so they regenerate wool a lot faster. And that way I can shear them. And then, you know, they eat, they get wool back. The rest, I'm going to focus on health because when they get slaughtered, as I will be using them for that, the health will give me more uh, mutton raw button and hide so these will be a good source of higher tier meat as their health level increases and of course just hide and then i'll have some that are good for shearing and give me wool that i could use for other stuff like maybe making some warmer clothes for when i go back north again so there we go and ovis 
pen, uh, mutton farm slash wool farm in the making. I mean, the structure's done, but you know, in the end, uh, I just, I got to breed a bunch of Ovis and I've got two juveniles maturing right now, both females that will speed things up, but it's not complicated. It shouldn't be complicated looking. It's a sheep barn. That's what it's supposed to be. And you know, going with a fancy tech version would be fine if it's, you want that mass produced factory feel. I wanted that, you know, just rustic farm feel like I've got with other things here, like the, you know, the Dodo Coop, which is functional, but also cosmetic. It's not meant for mass production. Same as this. This is just meant to get things going. And as they level up, I'll get more and more mutton from each kill. And once I have a bunch of them roaming around the grassy, stony area, it'll at least look a little bit more like a mutton or sheep farm, as it were. But yeah, simple. Biggest pain was finding them.